Hi everybody, how are you? It's Mark Borgren back with another uh, vlog for you. Um, it's really interesting, you know, talking about choreography. You know, it's something that actually occupies my mind most of the day. Thinking about movement, where people move on the stage, you know, what happens when they exit stage left, upstage or downstage. A director told me once that the best entrances for him were from way upstage. So when, when the actor walked down towards the audience, they could work out who this person was and how they fitted in, which I was, thought was really interesting. I just used to have people kind of leap on from the wings. So it's really interesting where you place people, even in an abstract piece, um, they have this kind of theatrical thing going on, you know, their entrance, uh, people watch them right from when they leave the wings or when they see them, if there's an outside space, you know, who are these people? Who is this person? What do they want? What, what are they delivering? Uh, if it's purely physical, uh, I used to really admire the way most, well, I still do, the way most Cunningham made the, the movement material extremely difficult for the dancer. So they're having to kind of twist their bodies, arch their bodies, tilt their bodies in all kinds of direction if you like, sometimes working against what the legs were doing. Um, so, so I love that, that juxtaposition of things going on in the body. And I think when it's really hard for the dancers, it gives them a different kind of presence, uh, you know, because they're, they're not acting, they're just being, and they're just being inside the movement. So I've, I've always admired that. So my work, generally speaking, is quite difficult to do because I, I love the idea that the dancer has to concentrate like crazy. And that concentration, that concentration is really uh, interesting. It's completely visible, visible to the audience. Uh, and it draws the audience in, I think. Um, and, uh, you know, of course, we know that dancing is not easy. You've got to warm up. You've got to train for years. You've got to get all the particulars absolutely right. You've got to focus on the big stuff, but also pay, you know, scrupulous, scrupulous, scrupulous attention to the details of what's going on in your body and how you're projecting it and how you're or delivering it, how you're using your face sometimes against the body. So it's, um, it's full of things. And, uh, you know, choreography, dancing, it's kind of amazing, really, because it goes on forever. Uh, this is another one of my cave paintings. Uh, when I studied art history, uh, there were a lot of depositions going on, this getting down off the cross stuff. Um, and actually, all through art history, there's all this stuff. I mean, I, I'm not crazy uh, about, um, you know, stories about victims. Uh, um, but, you know, uh, that's what our art, art history is probably very good at. Um, you know, showing that kind of thing, you know, people taking a body off the cross. Um, and I think in art, uh, it, it pops up all the time and it pops up in dance all the time. You know, um, the person left out, the person slighted, um, you know, the person that's not as beautiful as the main people in the, in the ballet. You know, their legs aren't as gorgeous, they don't have beautiful features. Um, and they're probably considered to be slightly overweight or something. So, um, you know, it's, it's really interesting, you know, in lockdown to think about how we really don't need these, uh, these conventions. And maybe we can play around with them to come up with other things. I mean, you know, imagine if a deposition was kind of a jolly thing. Hey, getting down off the, after being tacked up for, you know, for a period of time. So it's, it's, it's interesting also that interpretation, uh, with whoever's watching it, whoever is taking it in, whoever's been trained in a particular way and thinks in a particular way, um, it's, it's interesting. Sometimes I have to watch things a couple of times to kind of get it. The first time I think, oh, I didn't know. Oh, but, but actually now that I'm seeing it, you know, I got the wrong picture of that completely. I thought it was a right-wing thing, um, and it's not. <laughs>
Anyway, thanks for joining me today and um, I'm really happy to chat to you. Uh, see you later. Bye-bye.